What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Toby once again for Racing Games and today we're going to be taking a look at why we think Grand Prix Legends is the best Formula 1 game ever made. Now, there have been plenty of F1 games released over the years, but this classic title from the 1990s is still popular today thanks to its dedicated modding community and timeless gameplay, so here's why we think nothing compares to Grand Prix Legends. Roll out of the pits here. First of all, we've got the realism. Grand Prix Legends centers around the 1967 Formula One season and is inspired by the 1966 film Grand Prix. GPL simulates every race that year, including non-championship events. The level of accuracy GPL goes into isn't matched by many titles even today. If, for example, Graham Hill didn't race in specific Grand Prix that year, he won't in GPL either. The same goes for the cars and the upgrades. It perfectly replicates how the teams developed and replaced their cars in 67. While the graphics of the surroundings are lacking by today's standards, this game is over 20 years old. If you were to compare it to F198, a game that came out in the same year as GPL, GPL is leagues above. GPL's handling model is still considered to be one of the most difficult and rewarding to master out of all the racing sims. Likewise, its damage model is also one of the most realistic, as cars can retire for any number of reasons, not just collisions and engine failures. That's my tire temperatures. Secondly, Grand Prix Legends really is racing at its purest. Playing old video games is nostalgic, but when they're also set in a classic era such as the 1960s, it's extra special. This is also an era when a lot of the technology we see in racing today simply didn't exist. You want to talk to your pit crew? Too bad, radio aren't in these cars. You want to know how many laps are left or what position you're in? Look at your pit board when you pass the pits. Change the engine mode while you're in the car? No chance. This might sound limiting, but what it does is it makes you focus on the driving, and only the driving. It makes the competition between yourself and the AI more equal, as strategy doesn't factor into the end result as much as it does today. GPL is definitely a game that will help hone your raw skills as a racing driver, as the cars are beasts to drive. No downforce, no power steering, tyres are very difficult to heat up, and primitive brakes make the 1967 F1 cars a mammoth challenge to master. So we've made a lot of claims about Grand Prix Legends being the best Formula 1 title in history, in our opinion, but what about the competition? When talking about the best F1 game ever, there really isn't a consensus for which titles should be considered. However, GPL, F1 2020, and F1 Championship Edition 2006 are the three that are most commonly mentioned. The issue with F1 2020 and 2006 Champion Edition though is that they're based solely around one season of F1 racing. The While they both do this excellently, as does F1 2021, and are rightfully revered, this is all you can do in these games. Yes, there are mods where the drivers and the teams have been updated to emulate different seasons for both these games. However, these aren't as convincing as GPL, but why? It most likely boils down to how complete a game GPL was, and how simple it also is. When it comes to altering things within the game, the better the vanilla version is, the easier it is to change the code. Grand Prix Legends obviously was built rock solid, as new tracks, competitions and seasons are being added all the time. There's little sign this will stop anytime soon either. That's what sim racers want, realism, and Grand Prix Legends is as pure as you can get. So, that's Grand Prix Legends and why we at Racing Games think it really is one of the best F1 games of all time. What do you think, and have you managed to play the game? I've been Toby for Racing Games, and I'll catch you in the next video here on the channel.